Thank you so much for watching On Call for All Kids. Today we're talking about the 100th anniversary of the ketogenic diet. We'll discuss what the ketogenic diet is, how it can benefit kids with seizures, and how Johns Hopkins Hospital and Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital work together to help children with epilepsy. I am joined by Dr. Eric Kossoff. He is the medical director of the Pediatric Ketogenic Diet Program at Johns Hopkins Hospital. And Stacey Bassoni, she's the ketogenic dietitian here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. So great to have both of you here with us today. Thank you. Thank it's great you. to be here. Well, Stacey, let's start off with you. So what exactly is the ketogenic diet for kids with epilepsy, which are also seizures? So it's a high fat, adequate protein, low carbohydrate diet that causes the body to go into ketosis. And this has an effect on the brain where the brain will use ketones for energy instead of glucose. And we often bring patients into the hospital to start the diet. Sometimes there's a brief fast and we teach parents how to weigh foods on a gram scale. Uh, some of the foods that are included are things like avocado, oils, heavy cream, meats, and fish. And Dr. Kostoff, who should start this diet? So Ashley, typically we use medications for most children with epilepsy. Medications work uh, the majority of the time. However, there are absolutely children who just don't respond to medications. And in those cases, we think about other options, one of which is a ketogenic diet. And so Typically, most children starting the diet have tried two or three or sometimes more anti-seizure medications. And then the families come to our centers and say, can we try something different? And we will bring them into the hospital, usually for a few days, to start the diet while we carefully watch them and then educate the parents. Uh, there are some epilepsies that really respond very well to the diet, uh, infantile spasms, Doza syndrome, GLUT1 deficiency are among actually several other epilepsies that just do really well. Um, we also do the diet a lot for formula fed children because there are ketogenic formulas. So you can just switch their formula to a ketogenic one uh, and get them started. Um, we typically give the diet about three months to work. And if it does help, we'll go for about two years. I think it's just really important to everyone watching to realize this is a medically supervised diet and should never be done on their own. Now, what's so exciting about what's happening on July 27th? So we are you know, really excited that uh, July 27th will be the 100 year anniversary of the first article published about the ketogenic diet. So July 27th, 1921, at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, Dr. Wilder wrote an article hypothesizing that a diet would mimic what they knew was helpful, which was fasting. Uh, and it did work. And so for, um, I'd say maybe 20 or 30 years, the diet was very popular. It then fell out of favor for various reasons until the 1990s. And we've had an explosion of interest in the last 20 to 30 years with publications coming out almost daily now about how great the diet can be for epilepsy, not just for children, but also for adults. Um, we're actually also starting a new society uh, that is forming to help promote the diet. We have meetings every two years and we're hoping to meet in Brighton, UK this October. So it's a real exciting time in the field. And I think all of us in the field and the keto community are celebrating the 100 year anniversary on July 27th in different ways. Wow, lots going on with the ketogenic diet. So Stacy, how does Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital work hand in hand with Johns Hopkins Hospital when it comes to the ketogenic diet? So excitingly, 10 years ago, uh, Johns Hopkins All Children's was just All Children's Hospital and we joined Johns Hopkins Medicine and the two clinics, the providers and the dietitians, decided to have uh, meetings every month, which actually became one of the first virtual clinics between the two hospitals. And we would review patients, um, we would collaborate on how to administer the diet, uh, talk about really tough cases and get advice on those. And we even share a research database and we publish information from that on various aspects of the diet. And this can help patients have the best outcomes for the diet. 
ketogenic diet. And finally, Dr. Kossoff, let's wrap up with you. Can you tell us some projects that you're working on right now? Sure. So, you know, since we've merged our centers 10 years ago, it's really been a pleasure working with Stacy. She's a world expert on the ketogenic diet. So our centers have just really taken off together in the last 10 years. And I think we published six papers, and I think a seventh is about to come out uh, in a few weeks. Uh, we've had some really great papers just in the last year. Um, we looked at how our centers have responded to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, doing virtual ketogenic diet starts by Zoom and all kinds of creative ways to get children on the diet, even during the pandemic. Um, we actually have also looked at ways to sort of adapt the diet uh, for liquid medications. Some of the liquid medications have sugar in them and have generally been forbidden. And Stacy and our team together realized maybe we don't have to not allow these liquid medicines if we adapt the diet and allow more fat, we can compensate for some of the liquid carbohydrates that they were taking. And it was a really successful approach and allowed children to be on these liquid medicines. Uh, we've also recently been looking at the response of the diet to something called ACARDI syndrome, and it seems to work very well. This was actually an idea that uh, Stacy, along with a medical student, had, and um, which this should be actually published in the next few weeks. Well, Dr. Kossoff, thank you so much for joining us. And Stacy, always a pleasure to see you as well. We really appreciate you all being here today. Well, thank you. Thanks. For thank advice. you, Ashley. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, you can also check out our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. There you will find a lot of timely topics in pediatric health care and other great resources for your family. We'll see you next week.